We begin in Arusha where the regional parliament failed to elect a speaker today after this session was boycotted by Tanzania and Burundi. This was only the first day of the sittings following a long suspension caused by Kenya's row of nominees. Members are demanding that the two countries withdraw their candidates for the position of speaker so that the post can rotate to other countries. Our regional correspondent Eugene Anangwe has the details from Arusha. Each and every member from the five East African community member states was present for the first item on the order paper. One by one, they stepped forward to take their oath of office. I, Honorable Barimiawa Jean Claude. It is the speaker's election process that suffered a major blow after the House was unable to conduct any further business due to a quorum hitch caused by the staged walkout of both Burundian and Tanzanian members. As we have been sworn in, I would say we use persuasion. We persuade Burundi, we persuade Tanzania, they go back to the house. Because democratically, you cannot fight when you're outside. We don't know the grievances. They need to come to the house, speak out, we listen to them, then we make judgment. Right. Take it very seriously. Ugandan member Fred Mbide had filed a motion to bar Tanzania from contesting the position of speaker. Accordingly, by necessary interpretation of rotation as a principle enshrined within the treaty, mm -hmm. Tanzania does not qualify. So vying is like a dice call. Mm -hmm. It is intended to, to administer in cohesion among us, the assembly. Mm -hmm. It is intended to actually work against the cohesion and the good neighborliness, using the assembly as a tool. Mm -hmm. And Tanzania needs to now be told in no uncertain terms that unlawfulness and illegality shall not be accepted on the floor of the House. While Burundi is eligible to present a candidate under the principle of rotation, the country's candidate Leontine Nseimana is being rejected because the Secretary General of the East African Community is a Burundian. The role of assembly is to oversee the executive. So when you have a speaker from the same country and the Secretary General is from the same country, there will be issues of conflict of interest. And that is why, obviously, it is only fair that the speakership comes from a, a partner state than the one that they've given the Secretary General. They should have elected the speaker, then now deal with quorum issues when you are dealing with a motion. Because quorum all over the world is used to frustrate. You want to ensure that a particular business does not succeed. Yeah? yeah? Yes. Because you can uh, create an environment that that business doesn't succeed. So that when a new business in the order paper is put in place, you can come and prosecute that business. But you cannot frustrate the house being there because it has to be there first, then you can frustrate businesses using quora. The clerk had to issue a 15-minute break to allow for further consultations and probably give time to all the missing members to join their colleagues. But that did not work. Even the sound of this <laughs> fell on deaf ears. The Tanzanian and Burundian members who had decided to boycott kept off the proceedings completely. Tomorrow. In the end, the session had to be adjourned to Tuesday. In reference to all this and the discussion that has been on this house, it is true we don't seem to be moving on the same and a similar direction. Well, not quite a good start for the East African Legislative Assembly, a very important organ for the East African community integration process. And of course, once again, on day one, when it was expected that that particular seat, the speaker's seat would have an occupant, it goes without one on the first day of the sittings right here in Arusha. For KTN News in Arusha, Tanzania, my name is Eugene Anangwe, reporting. Eugene.